Hey, what's up folks? I'm here today to show you how you can use NX's new NX watch capability to give watch mode to our playwright tests. So I'm in a workspace now that if we look in our package.json file, you can see we're using playwright to run our end-to-end -end tests. Here I can run the command yarn test, and that's going to go out and run our end-to-end -end tests here, but it's only going to run them once. Now there is no watch mode available to Playwright yet using the Playwright CLI, but we're going to show how you can use NX to add that here real quick. So I'm just going to run the command here, npx nx init. And that's going to add NX to our workspace. I'm going to skip these two interactive prompts and we can go right to installing NX and it'll also set up for us a little nx.json file here. But we won't need to touch that yet. For now, let's just go to our package scripts here and we'll add a watch test here and we'll use the command nx watch and then we'll get the dash dash projects option, which this specific repo is actually not a mono repo. So I can just use this name inside of our package JSON as my project because that's the only one. So we'll say dash dash project equals super ships and then we'll use dash dash and now we'll add the actual command to run whenever one of our files changes. So here I can add the command nx test. Now what this is going to do is whenever a file belonging to our super ship project changes, we'll run this command nx test. And when nx runs the test command, it's actually just going to run this test script right here. So let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to hit save and now we're going to run yarn watch tests. And that'll put us in watch mode. So we'll wait until a file belonging to our super ship project changes. Let me go ahead and jump into our source file. I'll just add an exclamation point to this random line inside of our app. I'll hit save and that will go and run our tests. Great, so everything passed. And if I take the exclamation point away again, we'll go ahead and rerun the tests another time. And that passed as well. Great, so just for fun, let's also go and add caching to our test task here as well. So we'll scroll down to our nx.json file that was generated when we ran our nx init command and we'll add test here to the cacheable operations. And because we changed this file and our project actually depended on the nx.json file, we're going to go ahead and run our test command automatically. We can see that one did not pull from cache. We'll go back to our source file, add the exclamation point. This one again should not be able to read from cache. So it'll take around 10 seconds here. Cool, and that passed. So now when we remove the exclamation point yet again and hit save, now you probably just missed that because it only took 24 milliseconds. But that's the magic of NX caching. We can add the exclamation point back. That one is cached as well, so 26 milliseconds. So as we can see, Pretty trivial here to use NX to both add watch mode and kind of supercharge your playwright end to end tests. So if this video helped you out, be sure to like and subscribe and check out the description to a link to our doc site where you can see some more of the features of our NX watch command, which includes allowing you to interpolate the project name and the files changed into the command that you want to run whenever NX notices that a file affecting the project changes. And be sure to tune in for more content on NX watch coming up. So thanks y'all, happy coding. Hey folks, quick addition to this video since there's been some recent news since I originally recorded and cut this video. Playwright version 1.32 has been released that introduces a UI mode as we can see on the screen here that includes a watch mode here. So if you're looking for native watch for Playwright, be sure to check this out. Also, I noticed on GitHub there is an issue here for a headless CLI watch mode. That's essentially what we rebuilt uh, earlier on in this video, so be sure to check out these issues too. Now, I'll be sure to leave the links in the video description to the UI watch mode here from Playwright and to the GitHub issue that we see on screen here as well. So yeah, check those out as well and we'll see you next time.